started with our power arms. Hello, Marcus. Okay, Marcus is going to work on me for you. Oh, sorry. So see you I'm later. Advertise. This is a solo me thing. If you're new to Marcus, he's my Vanna White of the fitness world, so he will be showing us all of our examples. Vanna Slight. Vanna Oh, God. Let's get started before I talk too much and can't talk my way out of things. Hello and good morning, everyone. Jumping jacks, full extension over those heads. We have power arms today, so I just want to make sure that you're really getting those arms nice and long getting into those shoulder girdles sorry i'm just going to set up my timer while you guys get to work good and if it's a little bit warm where you are let's go ahead right off the bat and set up that breathing right so inhale through that nose that open mouth exhale is going to be your best friend as we move through these power arms today it's going to help you expel any sort of heat and you know just keep you breathing let's go ahead and take those high knees in three two one, up and over those waistbands. Belly button's pulling nice and tight. We lift through the quads. I was gonna say through the hips. Let's not lift through the hips. Let's keep those hips even. Good, really bring those belly buttons into the spine. If you need to, we take that march. Our goal here though, is to turn on through the core while continuing to create heat. So we pick it up for five, pick it up for four, three, two, right into switch feet. Opening and closing, keeping those arms as long as you can. Walking, but we're really aiming to get into that chest, get into that back. So good. We are here. Would you mind turning this on for me? For five, we push. For four, here's our three, two, and thank you so much. Cement those hips. We swing, 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 swing. Taking that arm all the way across the chest. Feeling that shoulder blade open and triple extension at that leg. So we triple extend at the heel, knee, and ankle. So we're really turning on through that lower body. So good. Here's our four. Here's our three. Here's our two. Here's our one. Fingertips behind those ears. Gentle bend in those knees. Hips go back. And we stand it on up. Shoulder blades are pulling together so we really want to make sure that our chest is nice and broad and that we're squeezing like crazy through those shoulder blades one last thing to check in with here and let's continue to check in with it later is making sure that head is in line with the spine so if you're jutting that head forward just gently lift through the back of the ears holding at the bottom in three in two and one shoulder blades pull back and together we reach and pull reach and pull like there's something sticky on the wall and you're pulling it off. So good, full range of motion, beautiful. Finishing thumbs right by shoulders so we can continue to open across that chest and squeeze through that back. Here's your four, here's your three, here's our two, and one, stand it up. If you've got a mat, awesome. If not, also awesome, we're gonna roll down the spine. Chin to chest, inch worm down, keeping those hips nice and still. Take a push up at the bottom, and then go ahead and walk back up through that inchworm. Both directions on this inchworm, rolling up and rolling down. I want you to focus on squeezing through those glutes, through those hips. Maybe we drop to our knees for that push up. Totally up to you. Inchworm starts with dropping chin to chest and finishes with rolling back on top of those shoulders. We're gonna go ahead and hold at the bottom in three, two, Let's hold. We bring right foot outside that right hand, squaring off those hips. Right hand reaches to the sky, little circles through that wrist, trying to keep that back leg nice and straight, both directions with our wrist circles. And then take the circle into the arm. So flex the hand, getting into that shoulder. Other direction with that circle, good. Just stirring through that shoulder girdle and drop that right hand step, let right foot back, left foot steps forward, left hand extends to the ceiling. Reaching up to the back of that right knee. We take circles in our wrist. Other direction. And we take it into shoulder circles. So keep the arm flexed, getting into that shoulder girdle. And other direction. Good, drop that hand, pop that foot back. Hold, hold, hold. We take mountain climbers in three, two. We're either running it up center, we're stepping it, or you can go ahead and hold and work on that plank. We're here for 10. Nine, eight, seven. Feel that belly button pull into that spine. Keep those shoulders forward. Three, two, hold. Hips up, downward dog. Shift forward, high plank. Downward dog, 
High plank. Here's your four. Keep breathing. Here's your three. Here's our two. Final one. Hips are up. Then you're back in that high plank. Bend in those knees. Walk those hands back. Big old rag doll right here. Shake out that head. Shake out that neck. Roll it up the spine. Shake it on out. And let's do some arms and abs. Marcus, come on up. Let's talk about it. What's... Yay! The point we've all been waiting for. Marcus to do the work. When you say talk about it, does that mean we can describe it without Absolutely having to Absolutely not. Do we're we're going to do the work. Quick. So, we are didn't, starting. Didn't even let me finish. It's because I knew where you were going. In a crossbody mountain climber. Oh, really? Oh my god, no it's not. I'm just kidding. That's she changed it on me. Psych, crab dip to knee drive. I'm on a fast one. So, we're all Vanna. Up Vanna. with our hips in the air. Elbows are wrapping behind our back. And then we're gonna take a crab dip into a knee driver. If this is too much on your elbows, too much on your wrists, you can always drop the butt to the ground, do a little bend from here so you're not putting all that body weight in, stand up, and then kick your leg. Bend from the ground, kick your leg. You were doing a great job, I just realized I forgot to show you the modification. Otherwise, we have those hips in the air, we're rocking that crab dip with a little bit more power. Then we are moving into 30, 30 single leg calf raise into arm circles. So before you start the calf raise to set up that base, arms out to a T, reaching with your fingertips to the outside of the room, then tight little circles. If you have weights, soup cans, or not, you can hold them, or you can just go for body weight and it's gonna be lots of fun. Really stretch, and then once you have it, add that calf raise. So there's a lot of moving pieces. We're using those stabilizers to lift and the lower. If that calf raise is too much, Leave it behind. If you want both feet on the floor, go for it. At 30, we switch legs and we switch directions of the arms. Then we are moving into a bear push-up to froggy pop-up. These are the worst. They're the best. So I'm you're starting her. in all fours, holding that bear. Yeah, there you go. You're going to drop part right between hand, wrap those elbows tight, come back up, and then pop those feet forward, turning out of the hips. Nice, low froggy squat. If you need to modify, when you are in that bear position, drop those knees to the floor, take the push up from the ground, and then instead of jumping up, you can walk those feet forward into that low squat. Beautiful. We really did it. And we're already sweaty. Yep. Both of us, that's a good sign. All right, team, we are not doing cross body mountain climbers. I wish that's for another day. We are doing crab dips to drive-ins. So we are starting with our fingertips facing our heels, we squeeze our glutes up to the air, and we dip in three, two, dip down, take knee to chest, dip down, take knee to chest. So you're feeling that crunch through the abdomen. So, so good. Inhale lower, exhale up. If this is too much for you, drop those hips, take that push it from the ground, and then lift the leg from down here. So you're still getting into those triceps, but you've taken the weight of your body out of it. When we go for that dip, I want you to think of those shoulders staying back, nice broad chest. And I'm going to turn this way just so you can see. Try to keep your elbows from going out and keep wrapping them in towards that middle line. So wrap them in, go for that dip. 20 seconds. So good. If you want to get cheeky, you can dip while you knee drive. And then you can fit in a couple more reps. So that's your progression. Dip and knee drive. Hoo-wee! Here's our eight. Stay with it. Yes, tomorrow. Right, yes, Christina. We are here for five, four, three, two. Shake it on out. And we are moving right along into our 30 30 single leg arm circles with a calf brace. So we start with that leg up, zipping up that midline. And three, two, really reach to the outside of the room. Tight little circles. So good, keeping those hips nice and stable once you're ready. And you don't have to take this next progression, but if you're ready, lift up on the heel and lower. Lift up on the heel and lower. I want you to get those arms as straight as possible. Really feel those shoulder blades pull together behind you. So you're activating through the shoulder girdles. We switch sides in eight. Whoo wee We switch leg, we switch direction with the circles in three, two, reach those arms even longer, other direction. Always growing tall through the spine, so good. With that knee up, it really gives us a hack for sucking in that belly button, which activates our stabilizers. So good, 
Pull those shoulders back a little bit. In through that nose and out through that mouth. Having a good time. Notice that those shoulders are falling forward. Those arms are dropping. Re-extend, re-reach. Yes, 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 here we go. Four, three, two, and shake it out. We are into our bear push-up to froggy squat. So we set up in all four, shoulders right over wrist, hips right below heel or above knees. We lift those knees in three, two, we take a push-up, heart right between hands, and we pop our legs forward, we turn out at the hips, and we're in this low froggy. Right off the bat, if that froggy is too low, bring it into a sumo squat. So you're not going so far down, but you're still turned out at those hips. Then you can walk it down, step it back, hit that push-up, and you can always walk through these, so you never have to jump. If that push-up is too extreme from those knees, keep the knees down and hit the pop-up from there. Inhale and exhale, so good. Yes, 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 try not to let that chin drop into the chest. Eyeballs are always staring right in front of the face. If you're looking at your belly button, just lift that head ever so slightly. So good. Squeezing those glutes on that froggy, really getting into the outside of those hip flexors. Yes, Mara. Yes, Christina. Stay, stay, stay. Good, Marcus. Woo-wee. Keep those elbows tight. Feel those triceps, biceps, chest. Four, three, two. Shake it up. What do you say we do some more? Back in that little delicious crab dip to knee driver. Spin those hands around. Fingertips facing our heels. Lift those hips up. We go in three, two. Shoulders back. Drop. Knee drive. Drop. Knee drive. If you want to add that extra level, knee drive with that dip. Noticing if at some point your shoulders are starting to sneak forward, try to activate through those hips a little bit more. If we're dropping our hips, usually it causes those shoulders to start to buckle forward. So good. If you want to take a break but without quitting, you can always hold at the top in this tabletop. Even though you're not dipping, you're still activating so much of that tricep just to stabilize you. Reminder that if this is too much, you're on your little tushy, going for that same range of motion without the full weight of your body. Y'all, I know we're having so much fun, but we are almost out of this, so enjoy it while it lasts. We're here for 10. Whew. We push for five. Stay, 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 shoulders stay back. Three, two, one. Shake it on out. Let's find that balance. You guys are amazing. Nice long arms. Zip that knee up that center line. Find that stabilization. Little circles in three, in two, and one. So reach to the outside of the room. If you don't have weights, I highly recommend making fists. That way we have something tangible. We can really feel the muscles contracting. So good. All right, from here, you can stay or we lift and lower. Yeah. And how are we working our cores with this? I'm so glad you asked because it takes a lot of stabilization through our trunk in order to lift and lower with the leg off the ground. So good. We switch legs in three, two, switch it out, other direction. Oh yeah. If you're not feeling it quite in the shoulders, make sure you're really actively reaching to the outside of the room. Full range of motion. Into that nose and out through that mouth. So good. Belly button into that spine. I know, I know, I know, I know. These are real suckers for those arms. Whew, we are out of this in 10. Stay with me a little bit longer. Yes, you can. You've made it this far. Here's your eight. Yes, Marius. Christina fighting for it. Yes, Marcus. Say, say, say. Here's four. Here's three. Here's two. Shake it out. You are amazing. We are finishing up with our bear plank to froggy cop up. We go. In five, we're familiar with what we're doing. We're taking the modifications as we need, starting in that hovering tabletop in three, two, making sure as you drop, chest is right between thumbs. Pop it up, stay low. Modifications, you drop to those knees. You walk it forward and maybe take it to a sumo rather than a froggy, depending on how open you are through those hips. For that bear push-up, if your knees are hovering, Make sure you're not piking in the air. Those knees are one inch off the ground. That's where that party happens. Once you have it, find that speed. So good. Notice if you're dropping that chin, keep pulling through the back of those ears. 
Inhale, lower, exhale up. Stay with me, team. 15 seconds, and we are into our last round of this first circuit. You are amazing. We are here together for eight. Yes, yes, yes. Give me five, four, here's three, two, and one. High fives across the board. You are incredible. And we are moving into our final crab dip. Oh, like we're going to miss it. Fingertips face those heels. We go three. We go two. Shoulders back. Hips up. Let's hit it. Maybe, just maybe, we go dip and crunch at the same time. Whew. Sounds like a chip. Dip and crunch. Oh, you would talk about Ooh. carbs during a workout. I can always only think about potato chips. My dog is literally named potato chip. It's not my fault. Whew. Inhale and exhale. So good. Notice if those elbows are starting to bow outwards and really wrap them back in towards that middle line. It might mean you can't go as low, but that's okay because we're not putting pressure on that elbow that way. Remix. So good. Remix. All right, team, last 10 seconds. If you can, if you want, we're going to hold at the bottom and pulse. So stay with me. We're holding at the bottom. Five, four, three, two, pulse at the bottom. If you want to go for dips, or excuse me, knees while you pulse, get a little crazy. Here's five. You also don't have to pulse. You can hold it. Here's three, two, let it go. Stand it up. Shake it out. I know we're sorry to see those go, so wave goodbye. Arms reaching to the outside of the room. Maybe we make those fists. Zip that knee up. We go three, two, tight little arm circles. So, so good. Tracing tiny little, like one diameter, one, one, one inch diameter circles. One diameter inch circle. I think diameter is a um, unit of measurement. Yum, yum, yum. It's something to be measured. And you always have that option to raise that heel if you're feeling like you need a little extra in round three. Remember, we're not just reaching out, but I also want you activating through those shoulder blades. So pull them in together. Yes. We switch sides in three, two, re extend. Zip that other leg up. So good. Growing those arms long, sending shoulders down our back. Using that belly button to pull into our spine, to lift that knee a little higher and stabilize as we calf raise. Yes, you can, team. Here we go. I know, I know, I know. Fight for it because you are out of it in 10. Yes, you can. This is where you make that decision. Push through that discomfort. Here's your five. Yes, ladies. Three. Here's two. And shake it out. We have one more round of these sweet little bear to froggies. And then we are into round two. You guys are amazing. Let's hit this. Oh, we sit up in that tabletop. Float those bare knees in three, two. Drop that heart. Pop it up. Once you have it, think of it as a rebounder. You're going for speed, a little seesaw. There's that power. Using that tushy to open wide through those legs. If you are totally burning out, keep those knees on the floor and just go for those bare push-ups. Or maybe just work on your bare push-up. Work where your body is ready this morning and meet us where you can. <sighs> Making sure on that little froggy that your knees aren't collapsing center, right? That's where those glutes come in. 25 seconds. This one flies by and then it's over. <sighs> Here we go. 18. Hip. Stay strong, team. Yes, you can. Maybe you take that push-up out and just go for the rebound. Ten. Here's eight. You're out of this in five. Four. Three. Two. Amazing. High five, high five, high five, high five. How are we doing? Two thumbs way up. So good. I love it. Okay, so let's keep moving. Maybe take those arms across. Maybe you just shake it, but keep that heart rate going. Marcus, why don't you come out? Crossbody mountain climbers. Just kidding. She's, we are going into. Fool me twice. This one's Shame even better. On you even more. Alt surfer getups. Oh boy. Oh yeah. So just right off the bat, the position you're going through in the feet is as if you're in a surfboard. So one foot is forward, one foot is slightly turned out, and we're landing in kind of a nice little surfer squat. That's your landing position. The full extension has you popping up into it. So you pop back, and then using total body to thrust yourself up, you land in that surfer get up. And then you alternate. 
He is really good at this. He's got a lot of chest and upper body strength. Myself, sometimes I have to break it down a little bit. If you need to break it down, you can either walk it up into that position, walk it back down, or just play around with form. So maybe pop it up and then adjust the feet. He's just too good. Point is, find your way there, and if you need to take the jump out, take the jump out, and if you just want to rock standard pop-ups, I get it, I love it, do your thing. Then we're going into 30-30 single leg rolling planks. So you are in a forearm plank. Our arms are in that equality sign. So one on top, one below. We're going to roll and knock the wall. So to set it up, beautiful. Roll, knock the wall, and then other direction, roll through. So you're firing up through that back. Just stay on one side for 30. And then go out of the direction. But I mean, put this one? No. There you go. So if you can, try to hover one leg. It takes a ton of core strength. And if that's not in your wheelhouse, stay both feet on the ground and go side to side. I'll show you when we get back there, too. I didn't do a great job of explaining it to him, but he did a great job doing what he did. Then we go into a sumo squat, row to double fist cross. So we're going wide row right out from the shoulders. Sumo squat, meaning that we're standing wide at the hip width distance, turning out at the hips. We row wide, and then we stand up and double cross. Row wide, stand up, double cross. So we're firing up through that chest, firing up through that back as we drop. Inhale and exhale. This is beautiful. What a time to be alive. Are you so ready? I'm so ready. All right, get out of here. Or stay. I would like you on camera. All right, team. So we're just getting it started with a casual little surfer pop-up. Remember, if that's too much, you can always rock standard pop-ups, or you can walk it up and down the spine. Again, our surfer pop-ups have us landing with one foot in front, one foot behind, slight squat. We drop the hands in three, two, drop it out, land it. If you can get your feet under you on that pop-up, amazing. Otherwise, maybe you drop those knees, hit that push-up, walk it up, land that squat. So good. If at any point you need a modification for this exercise that I haven't given you, you always have the option to walk up to the screen, wave your hand in front of it. Hip. So it's low-key, a burpee with a pop-up. You're so welcome. Remember, we land in that nice loaded stance. Inhale, exhale. Using that trunk to pull yourself up over those hips. Try not to stay hovering forward. So strong, here's your 10. Hip, we're here for five, four, three, two. We're gonna miss those. Okay, all setting up in our forearm plank. So full variation, we're in that equality sign. We're gonna rock one leg off the ground, staying off that other side for 30 seconds. In three, two, modifications, both feet down. Further modifications, take it from the knee. Here we go. This is what? So good. You can always drop to that knee if you need. We are switching legs. If you have one foot up in five, four, three, two, drop that other foot. I like to cross my legs in a little tail. That helps me from waggling my foot around. Waggling is the official term. Hello. So good. Remember, you can always drop to both those feet. What I want from you is really activating through that back muscle as you throw that elbow. So good. We're here for eight. Stay for five, four, three, two. Let it on go. Come up to our sumos. Guys, power arms. If you're new to power arms, amazing work. It's our favorite day of the week. Turning out of those hips. As we drop into our sumo, we pull out from the shoulders in three, two, pull out, jab up. Row, jab. Row, jab, yes. Inhale lower, exhale up, beautiful. Yeah, tomorrow with the weights. I see you love that, Christina. Really thinking, yeah, Marcus, of growing super duper tall through that spine as you come up to that standing position. Heels pulling together energetically and really activating through those shoulder blades. You do not need weights for this to be killer. Squeeze those shoulders, jam it out. It's made for power. 
so we can pick it up. Really think of keeping elbows high. Imagine there are little tea cups that as you pull back, you don't want to dump your tea. Here we go. Stay. We're right into those surfer pop-ups. We catch our breath. Hit eight. Woo-wee. Yes. Squeeze those glutes just like those froggies. Keep those hips open. Here's our three, two, one. So amazing. So amazing. All right. Right back where it started with those surfer pop-ups. Load it and then get ready to burpee explode it. In three, in two, let's see those smiles. One, let's hit it. Pop it down. Get those feet under your body. Land it high. You use that trunk to zip those legs up and then to pull your trunk up. So you're always using that abdomen. Hip. So good. Hey, for anyone who actually surf it, surf, surface, what is, what is surfing? I'm going to cut myself off right there. 30 seconds. Stay with it. You know who you are. You know you're killing this. It's like the real thing. Stay, stay, stay. Here's our 20. So strong. Keep playing it. Yes, tomorrow. Gorgeous. Yes, Christina. Yes, Marcus. So good. Stay right here. Here's 10. Those knees are an option to you when you're in that push-up. Here's your five. Here's your four. One more. Three. Come on. Two. And one. Up. Make. Zing. We are going into our rolling planks. Two feet on the ground. One foot on the ground. Whatever you are feeling, we go in five. I'm going to go this way so you can see the bind I use. In three, two, one leg crosses over the other. Activating through those shoulders. Firing up through that back muscle. So, so good. Here we go, team. Both feet can be down. You can even take it to the knees because, after all, it's arms and abs. So I want you focusing on that contraction as you go for that wall. Here we go. If you have one foot down, let's switch sides. 30. And let's take a second to check in. Make sure we're still using that breath, especially if we're starting to get hot. Remember that open mouth exhale. That's how we expel that internal heat. So good. Keep that core strong. Belly button pulls into that spine. Here's your 10. Hoo-wee! Push a little harder. Here's your five. You're so darn close. Here's three. Nothing easy about it. Two and one. Amazing. Stand it on up. We're going into those sumo rows, so jabs. Give yourself a little pat on the shoulder. You sure are amazing. All right, team. We sit it down in four. Make sure you're squeezing those glutes. Three, two, sit it down. Row and jab. Row and jab. Alternating which arm goes on top and really hit that press, right? So our pecs are designed to press inward. So we're actually training full range of motion through those pec muscles when we hit these jabs. That's why when you do chest presses, you should always bring thumbs together at the top. So you're really working full range of motion. Inhale and exhale. Remember, even if you don't have weights, you are activating like crazy. Imagine a pencil behind your shoulders, squeeze them tight, and then jab it down. Here we go. 20 seconds. Inhale, exhale. If you start feeling it in your knees, slow it down and really just make sure it's keep opening through the glutes. Yes, I love it. Teamwork in the Tamara house. Here we go for five, four, here's three, two, and shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. We have one more round. It's those surfer get-ups. You guys are ready. You're warm. Your brain might be clocking tired, but we clock in our body warm and ready. Find that surfer. Load it. Picture those gnarly waves. Three, two, one. Let's hit it. Push up. Pop up. So you're landing in that nice, strong base. Drop your hands. Shoot your legs back. Take it to that push up. And then use that tummy to rip your legs forward and find that sweet, sweet surfboard. Beyonce style. Surfboard, riding on it. Remember guys, remember Marcus? Remember Beyonce style? I'm dead, I don't remember anything. We're having so much fun over here. I hope you are too. 
Normal pop-ups I'll take. Maybe you're doing rolling up and down the spine. Whatever you need, drop to those knees. Remember that core is quintessential for moving you to and from that pike position. Maybe you take that push up out and you just rock that surfer pop up. Whatever you're doing, six seconds. I want one more full variation. Four, three, two, amazing work. High five, high five, high five. Shake it out. We are into those rolling planks. If you want to go single leg, wrap the top leg around the bottom and you can isolate that way. We go three, two, equality sign. Let's roll. If you're on one leg, find your bind and really squeeze that tushy. So good. Firing up to the back line of that body. Both legs are down if you need it. Maybe we're on those knees. Again, this is all about activating through those rhomboids, those muscles on the top of your back. Oh yes. If you've been isolating one side, here is your 30 second mark. Switch that bind and have a great time. Here we go. Squeeze the butt, squeeze the core. Notice if you're sort of body rolling open, hips first, then chest. Keep it all traveling as a unit. Furthest modification. Hold that plank from the knees. Just work on that shoulder stability. Here we go, team. 10 seconds. This is your burnout. Choose it. Chase it. We're out in four, three, two. Amazing. Goodbye, first two exercises. Let's stand up. Find those sumos. We're going high row, double jab. Are you ready for this? Let's finish it. Four, three, two. High row, double jab. High row, double jab. Keeping elbows high through all of this. So try not to let them drop behind you. Super common, but we want them up so we're activating differently through those rhomboids. This is where that breath starts to really come into play nice and handy, right? We want oxygen racing through our bodies to help activate that repair and to really help us work most efficiently. Here we go, squeeze those shoulder blades. This is so good, yes, tomorrow, yes, Christina. Marcus, this is so strong. Balance those little teacups on your elbows, or maybe they're big teacups, I don't know. I don't run a lot of teacups. Here we go, 18. Stay strong, inhale, exhale. All that matters right now is form, breath, and pushing your hardest. So everything, here's eight. Hip, here's your five, if you can, how many can we fit in for three, two, and one. Hey, you guys, high fives, amazing. Shake it on out. Keep it moving however you want to. Maybe curls, maybe side steps. We get going in our final round with Marcus. All right, feel free to grab a little water, but let's stay standing. Marcus is going to show us a dive bomber push up. Sorry. No, I'm sorry, pop up. I had prematurely uh, checked myself in the hospital. Too soon. All right, so start a little closer. Let's show them the pop up first. So you're taking a pop up, plant those hands down. Watch the little forward for Facebook, beautiful. Pop those hands down. So Pop up to dive bomber. So you land in that plank, send those hips up, and then take your nose, take your chest between those hands. Pop up. I'll have them slow it down here. So pop out, hips go up, dive bomber. So send heart, send the nose between. You're in a half push up position. Then you come all the way up, then you finish that pop up. A lot of things going on. If you're not comfortable adding that pop up in, first 30 seconds, work those dive bombers from that plank. Hips go up. We take heart between thumbs. Press it back up, rock from here, maybe take those knees down. So if you wanna break it down, 30 seconds dive bombers, 30 seconds pop-ups, maybe take the pop-ups out, your body, your rules, I love it, I love it. Then Marcus, 30, 30, single leg, inchworm into jumping. So, lots of notes. it takes that today. long to describe, you know it's gonna be hard to do. I heard fun. You're gonna lift that leg, you've got plenty of core strength now warmed up, you're gonna chin to chest, roll it down, just like our warm up. Finding that nice high plank, then you're gonna pop that leg in, pop it back, take that inch warm up. It takes plenty of core work just to hit that single leg roll down. So if you wanna take the pop out out, take it out, just rock that roll down. Or you can do all of this from both feet. If you are using single leg at 30, we'll switch it and reverse it. Marcus, that was so nice. Thank now we're gonna do seal jacks because they're Marcus's third favorite animal. Nice raw wide reach. Oh, the first two. I don't know, vultures and 
chihuahuas, just like this. They're like jumping jacks, but we're taking it right across the body. The trick here is you're staying super active the whole time. So think of it and then take it into that cross body jack. Your modification, step touches instead of that jump. How's that work? A little bit of step touch. Uh -huh. So you look really cute and that's pretty much it. That's all we need. Guys, I feel like maybe I've brutalized my boyfriend today. How are we doing? Today. Thumbs up. Oh, yay. I'll take a sort of so-so. All right. Thank you for your honesty. Here we go. You guys, this is where we finish it. So we are going into dive bomb pop-ups. Remember, you can take just dive bombers. You can go 30-30. But if you're going full extension, we hit that pop-up in three, two, drop those hands, pop it back, hips go up, heart and nose pull between. You're in that half push-up. Press it all the way. Jump it up. This is your first round. Take your time. Figure out how this feels. Yes, Christina. Yes, Tamara. Trying to keep those hips so still. So when you press up from that plank, travel as one unit. Try not to leave your body behind. So good. If you want to just take those dive bombers, hips up, hands and heart between. Nice, strong body. Press up. Back into pipe. These alone are real fun. I promise. Here we go. Staying with it tight. Into that nose, out through that mouth. Here's your 15 second mark. Keep that belly so tight. Don't leave those hips behind. Here's your 10. Stay with it. Drop those knees when you need. Here's your four. Here's your three. Here's your two. And one, no problem. High five yourself. Now we're going in two our single leg inchworm with a hop in. So choose which side you want to start on. Zip that leg up. We are going in three, pop up that arms. Two, chin to chest, roll it down. Keeping hips still, walk it out. You're in that high plank. Hop forward, hop back, walk it on up. Again, it takes a lot of stability just to hit that single leg roll down. So if you want to leave that pop up behind, just work on that single leg roll out, roll in. Or both feet down, walk out, hop in, hop back, walk up. Keeping that spine so long. 30 seconds, we switch sides right here. Other leg goes up. Again, keeping those hips as still as you can. So good, belly button is tight, so strong. We've done a lot of balancing today, all building to this last variation, using that balance to change our elevation. Here's our 10. Use that breath. Use that smile. Here's our five. One more. Three, two, and one. Amazing work. Everybody up. We get to go into those seal jacks. Okay, team. Nice wide reach. We take those jumping jack seal jacks in three, two, and one. So keeping hands. Right out from the shoulder, really load those legs and you go for speed. So we're not just kind of casually clapping and dancing, right? Those arms are super activated. Even if you take the jump out, you can still really go for speed here. Find extension through those arms. We're working shoulder girdles. So good. 30 seconds. Hip. Into that nose. Out through that mouth. Let that heat up. Hip. Yes, I love that. Yes, Christina. We keep those hands directly out from our shoulders. Good, Marcus. Notice that that chin is starting to jut forward. Bring it back in line. No birds of prey here. Here's our 10. Can you go a little quicker? Here is our seven. Here's our five. I love it. Even if we're stepping, we can keep it up. Here's our four, three, two, Shake it on out, power arms. We're going back to those dive bomb pop-ups. Again, options. You can do just dive bombers, take the pop-up out. You can just do pop-ups. Whatever we're doing, we go in three, two, drop the hands, shoot it back. Hips go up, nose and heart pull between hands. One solid unit of a plank, we drop up and jump. Making sure whether we're taking the pop-ups or not, that when we start those dive bomber push-ups, we're starting from a high plank. So start here, then send those hips up. Don't start from that pipe. Usually we short change ourselves. So if you're doing dive bombers, cyclical motion. 
You can always keep those knees on the floor. 30 seconds. So strong. Are you breathing? Yes, team, I'm just gonna readjust my hair, but you keep going. Yes, tomorrow, yes, 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 yes. Beautiful walk down, way to control those hips. Yes. Good, Christine, I love that. Remember, do not let that chin drop. Always think of pulling up through the ears so you're nice and level through that spine. Here's your four, here's your three, two, and one. Amazing, amazing work. At the top of our mat, one or two feet down, we suction that leg up. We're going for a single leg roll down, hop in. In four, use that breath. Three, two, here we go. Chin to chest, walk it out. Find that high plank, hop it in, hop it out, walk it back. If this is too much for you, take out that jump. Keep both feet on the floor. Find a variation that works for where you're at today and rock it there. This is about building at your own pace. That's why we have so many variations. Some of you might be zipping through this, going three times as fast as me. That's another variation. We switch legs in three, two, plant that other foot, use that core. Inhale, exhale up, pop it up, pop it back. Squeeze that trunk. Notice if you're wiggling like crazy through the hips and then really zone in on squeezing that butt. Make stability your priority. Here we go. For 10, I know you've all got at least two more. We just have to fight for it. Five, stay, stay, stay. Four, here's your three, here's your two, and one amazing work. Seal jacks, activating not just from our shoulders, but also from our biceps and triceps, both closing and opening the arms. We go in four, three, here's two, one, let's hit it. Almost think of staying super low the whole time. Like you're pulling down through the hips and quad. So you're always in this little like fired up stance. That's just an extra way to burn through those hip flexors. So good. Notice if your arms are dropping, keep them right out from your shoulders. Keep that head in line with that spine. If you need to slow it down, step touch. We're working directly out from our heart, so we should be getting a little bit breathless, right? It's easy to get winded when we work such small capillaries so close to our heart and our lungs. Say, say, say. Commit right here, 10, 10 seconds. Whatever your best version is, we race it into our final round of the day. Whew! We made it this far. Here's our push. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Amazing work. Three minutes on the clock. You've done nothing but kill it. Just give me three more minutes of your day in this. And then you have done so much. You can go take a nap for the rest of the day. Here's three, two, and one. Pop up. Hips up. Ties bonnet. Take those knees if you need. Take the pop up out if you're totally, totally over it. Hips are super still. In through that nose, out through that mouth, keeping shoulder out of ears, power arms. We've been rocking both our upper body and our cardiovascular system for 40 minutes. You are incredible. You have right here 25 seconds on the clock. Take a modification if you need. Maybe it's holding that plank even. But whatever you do, let's stay fighting right here. 15 seconds, don't give up on yourself. Not when you've made it this far. It should be hard. Rise to that challenge. Here's our 10. Yes, feel your body getting stronger as you push through. Four, here's your three, two, and one. You guys are incredible. Let's finish out these 30, 30 single leg walk downs, inchworms. I just added like 17 extra words. Didn't need to be there. You know what we're doing. Single leg into him to hop in in three, two, core is so tight. Zero wiggle in those hips. You're using that hamstring too, right? So this, this is a really big total body activator. Because when you stand it back up, you have to use that lower body to help lever yourself back up. So strong. Love that, Marcus. Here we go. Switching sides in four. Switching sides in three, 
Two, switch it out. Maybe both feet are on the floor. Keep doing what you're doing. If you haven't been doing the hop in, just because you're tired, maybe play around with adding it. Maybe play around with adding some speed. Here we go for 18. It's up to you. How are you going to finish? You put in all this work. What's the cherry on the top for you? Here's our eight. Here's our five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. You are amazing. We have one minute on the clock. Whew. I don't know about you, but I'm a little bit sweaty, and I'm ready to finish this. We go seal jacks in four, three, two. Like we're never coming back, because we aren't. Make this your strongest round yet. Imagine you have a giant bubble in between your hands and you're popping every time. And the bubble's made of steel. So you have to press really hard. Imaginations, guys, they make working out more fun. So good. Whatever you've got, I'm loving it. Maybe it's just here and you're working on getting that full range of motion, but for you, that is the top of your capacity. I love it. Stay with it, don't cheat yourself. Push through, we have. Right here, 25 seconds, 25 seconds of work, and that's it. You guys, here we go, yes, Tamara. Yes, Christina. Yes, man, yes. Get low, clap hard. You've earned this applause. Here we go, final 10. Can you go a little faster, whatever variation, just to finish with a sprint, not a crawl. Here's our three, two, and one. Shake it out, victory lap around the room, shaking our arms, doing dances. Holy cow, you guys are incredible. Amazing work. I'm just so happy we're not done yet, you know, because life wouldn't that be sad? So grab a little water, towel off. I'm gonna grab some water and then we're gonna do a couple abs. Hi, join us for abs, it's gonna be so much fun. You were looking awesome before. I think you're the strongest one on this Zoom. And that's saying a lot, because these ladies are strong. Okay, team. Whew, arms and abs. And yes, we're still gonna do, oh my God, Bowie, more abs. Guys, this is great. All of my favorite children and dogs, suddenly this day became magical. It already was, to be clear, but somehow it got more magical. Okay, you guys. So, yeah, we've done a lot of abs. We've done a lot of abs today. We're going to slow it down just a little and start to work on more of those local stabilizers. So working through the spine, working through the hips. We're on our back. We're just going to rock some glute bridges to get started. Let the heart rate drop a little bit. So bring those heels about six to eight inches away from your butt. Bring that body all the way to the floor. And just from here, gentle lifts and lowers. But almost comes to touch, but not quite. Squeezing through the glutes, really driving the heels towards the hips. Turn on the timer for us. When you're moving through these, I want you to notice those knees. Make sure they're not buckling in. Make sure they're not opening wide. You want them right in line with those hips, right in line with those ankles. So good. Being conscious of those knees is gonna really save us from a lot of injury down the road, especially when we do squats and things where we pick up speed. Our goal is always to keep that knee between the hips and the ankles. So good. We're gonna hold at the top in eight. <sighs> Inhale, lower, exhale up, holding five, four, three, two, get those hips up. So tailbone is tipping up in towards the ceiling. Heels are driving in, holding and breathing. Upper body is down. From here, fix those hips in the space. We stamp and march, walk around. So that pelvic girdle is frozen in space. We're working into those hip girdles. We're working on the stabilizers through that spine, making sure that as we set our foot down, we're setting it back down directly where we picked it up off the ground. You do not have to leave the ground. You can keep both feet up and just hold. It is up to you. We are here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, lower that body down. Arms come up overhead. We roll up through the spine. C curve, roll it down. Inhaling and exhaling. Finding that C curve as we roll down. 
Try to keep those shoulders lifted the whole time. So we're never releasing through that trunk. So good. If those heels have a tendency to lift off the ground, just really think of digging them into the ground and pulling them towards your butt as you roll up. Almost like you're burying them in dirt. So good. Using that breath. Bring those hands to heart center. And as you sit up, twist to the right, lower. Twist to the left, lower. So we're starting to add a little twist through those obliques, through that transverse abdominis, twisting at the top and lowering it back down. Hands stay right at our heart center. Inhale and exhale. We're gonna hold at the top in 10. Sorry, I'm sweating my eyes in it. Hooks. In four, three, two, hands stay right at our heart center, leaning back into this. You're welcome to pick those legs up off the floor, but we're going Russian twist. If those legs are up, zip those thighs together. We don't want any movement in that lower body. And if you start to feel it in that lower back, drop those heels and just keep them down there. We can still work into those transverse abdominal without having those feet up. Thighs are together, lower body is still, spine is long. Anytime you feel it in that lower back, you reset and reestablish in the front of that body. So good. Finding that twist, taking that whole torso with you, not just the elbows, but the whole torso down to the hip flexors. So good, team, we're here for 10. Stay, stay, stay. We hold the top in three, two, good. If you need to reset, reset, bring that heart up, roll back, get in that spine, palms are up. We lift one foot, then the other, and if we can, we hold. Holding that B, shoulders are back, belly buttons into the spine, knees are together if you want a little bit more. Legs go up even more, arms go back. I'm not about that life today, but if you are, namaste. Good, if you start feeling in that lower back, drop those heels, use that trunk to reset. Otherwise, we're holding for just a little bit longer. Shoulders are wide, I mean chests are wide, shoulders together. And then we take little pulses in. Three, I said three, I don't know why, I meant to say breathe. We have so much longer than three here. Woo, here's your five, four, Three, two, and go ahead, drop your heels. Give yourself a little hug, maybe shake out. We have one more move. It's on our back. We're hitting our obliques. Heels are down. We lift through the heart. We reach for those ankles, working those obliques. Maybe you lift your shoulders a little higher. Maybe you walk your heels a little further. But I really want you to feel that crunch and pulling yourself back up with the strong, long side of that body. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale, use that breath. This is your final 15 seconds of your day. Maybe you find a little speed. Maybe you just make it your goal to keep pushing. Maybe you lift your shoulders a little higher. Decide for yourself, last five seconds, what do they look like? Here's your four, three, two, let it go. Arms go long, legs go long. Reach in both directions. Really feel the stretch across the abdomen. Oh my gosh, you guys. Whew. I know some of you out there on the YouTube really love power arms. Lindsay, this one was for you. Go ahead and bring those knees into the chest. Rock and roll that spine. So good. So if you have any issue with the pop-ups today please feel free to reach out to Lindsay. it was her idea she insisted and so you know asking you shall receive rock and roll up and down the spine and then gently make your way into a tabletop position we're gonna go for some cat cows i am gonna offer a variation if you just want to stick with traditional dropping the belly arching the back amazing but if you'd like to mix it up a little take that right leg over that left, cross the legs, and go for your cat cow from here. We did a lot of single leg stabilization, so this is just gonna isolate the stretch through that hip flexor a little bit stronger. Again, traditional cat cow, totally wonderful also. Inhale, drop the belly, exhale, arch the back. If you have that leg crossed, we're here for three, two, let's neutralize and take that left leg over that right, cross it like you have to pee, inhale, drop the belly, Exhale, arch the spine, making sure that knee is still right under those hips. Again, we're just getting a little bit different stretch 
into those hip flexors. A lot of single leg stabilization today. Beautiful. Uncross those legs. Find that neutral tabletop. Right arm is going to reach all the way up to the sky. Let's go like we did at the beginning with little circles through our wrist. Other direction. And then really reach high. Take those shoulder circles. Other direction. And thread the needle. Lay it down. Ear on the right side of that head is supported by the floor. If you want a little extra, you can take that left hand. Walk it forward. Find length in the arm. But keep that shoulder down the back. When you're down here, your only job is to find that breath and find that stillness and really just let that body relax. You are set up in a position that works with gravity. So you just get to kind of hang out and make sure you breathe. So good. Take one more nice deep breath, filling air all the way into the waistband of those pants. Maybe open that mouth on your exhale, emptying all the air from your lungs and gently walk the left hand back. Send the right arm up one last time, shake it out. Neutral tabletop, other side. So left arm reaches towards the sky. We take our wrist circles. And we take those circles in the other direction. Straighten out that wrist. Now we go full blown shoulder circles. Just relubing through those shoulder girdles. And other direction. And then reach up as high as you can, thread the needle, lean into that left shoulder. And if you'd like, take that right arm forward, shoulder out of ear, and just hang out. If you guys are looking for a super relaxing movie to watch, Marcus just showed me The Fly. Jeff Goldblum, remember one of the little class favorite. I'm lying. It's not relaxing. It's horrifying. But if you're into that, congratulations. DM me. Tell me what you think. Walk that right hand back, press it into the ground, straightening out through that arm, and tabletop position one last time as we dig our toes in, lift up through the heat knees, and find our downward dog. Shoulders are down our back. We are pedaling out through those legs, shaking out through that head, letting everything get loosey-goosey one last time. Walking legs up, big old bend in those thighs so we have a nice gentle tabletop for us to rest our chest on. Shake out the head, shake out the head, shake out the shoulders, shake out the hips, shake everything out, shake out the face, roll it up the spine, one vertebra at a time. Oh my stars, you guys. Happy Thursday. That was just cuckoo -cu crazy. I'll see you guys on Friday. I miss you so much already. And ladies, 